Welcome to another episode of The Old Man in the Tea. I'm your old man, Froy. How are you today? Sorry, it's it's been uh, it's been a while. It's been a few weeks, and I apologize for that. Uh, we've uh, been extremely busy in the month of August, and uh, a lot of birthdays. So, um, and trying to prep our son for his first day of school, which was today. So, you only have you know, one chance at a first, first day of school. So you don't want to botch this up. So, uh, actually, yeah, today went very well. Surprisingly, uh, we would have lost a bet if we had placed that our son would have lost his shit. You know, once we hand him off to the teacher and we left, but he, he was fine. Yeah. So we, we, Brought him in, he went there, and then we <laughs> we made like you saying bolt, and we got out of there. You know, we took off. So, but when we came back, funny thing was he saw us, and then he lost it, and then he just uh, he, he had his tantrum going up, yeah, and then he just went down like a sack of potatoes. So, but all is well. Uh, just it's gonna be three days a week. And uh, looking eh, looking forward to this. So, 16 more years. Another 16 first day of schools we got. Most of you in the home audience that are out there, yeah, you've got those, uh, those young adults out there that are in college or just about to finish college. And I think there's a few of you that are grandparents. Uh, congrats to you. And... It's, you know, looking forward to it. Now, one thing, my wife and I raising our son, and he's, it's automatic now, and we don't have to say, tell him, say, say please, say please. No, when he asks for something, uh, more strawberries, please, you know, more pasta, please, okay. And it's before... Yeah, we had to, he would ask more strawberries, more pasta, more banga. That's why he says banana. More banga. And that way we would be like, what do you say? Please. So now it's, we're trying to get him to say thank you on his own. Yeah, it may have come out once or twice, but yeah, but yeah. For most of you in the home audience out there, you know that. Kids, especially two-year-old toddlers, that they're sponges. They repeat anything you say. So, uh, with that said, you know it's just all about etiquette. There's so, I, even adults nowadays. It's uh, the edit of the please, the whole thank you thing. I don't it, it's it's lacking, and it it, it drives me. Bonkers, regardless of where he is in life. You know, you say please, you say thank you, wherever you go. So, it goes a long way. So, Speaking of etiquette, a few days ago, I had, some t- I had time to play nine holes. And it was just me, myself, and I. And nobody behind me. This is great. But I said nobody behind me. And you know where I'm going with this. There was somebody in front of me. And uh, I'm at the pro shop taking care of our greens fee. And he goes, you know, we, we have a member out there. Now, the club that I'm playing at here is uh, it's semi-private. And he goes, yeah, he's a member. You know, he's there with his son. Just so you may want want to may, uh, give them some time. Wait till they get to one green and then tee off. I'm like, yeah, no problem. Hey, I'm I am all for people playing golf, and uh, I have no issues when there when when there is golf etiquette. Now, with that said, you can see the first tee. I mean, it's as bright as day. It's out in the open. Everyone and their mother-in-law can see it. Even Stevie Wonder can see it. And 
they're teeing off from the white tees. I'm like, okay, fine. But the, uh, the, the son, who was an adult, uh, it, it wasn't pretty. I mean, he dribbled this ball, you know, off the tee. And it, it, was, it was bad. And this is not something, oh, you need a warm-up. No, this is as bad as, let's put it this way. He should have ran to first base. So, and then, you know, dad was was better, thank God. But still, um, you know, I, I let them go through. I, I caught them on, on two holes maybe, and then, you know, they moved on. But from what I was observing, you know, again, I only played nine holes. But when you got to like six, seven, eight, and eight, it was starting to drag. Now, the son, he had to be an adult. And he he didn't finish out the hole. Which was, hey, hey you, you pick up, fine, move on. It was the dad that I had the problem with. He would come off the green, sit in his, put his clubs in. And that took a lifetime. After that, he got in his cart. And that took four score and seven years. I'm like, what the fuck, buddy? Come on. You know? So, And he sat there. And I'm like, oh, what's he? Is this guy writing a dissertation or something? And it's, you know, so it got worse and worse and worse. Get to nine. You know, this is my last hole, and I don't see these two playing on the back nine. But I'm just ready to get home at the cook dinner. So time was, you know, of the essence. So I hit my drive about you know, 70 yards from the hole, and he's coming off the green, and he's taking his time, puts his clubs in, and he sat in his cart. I'm not joking. He sat there for five minutes, and it's, I don't know what he was doing. Uh, he, he was fussing around, doing whatever. I, I, he may have made a phone call, whatever. But you know what? When you get off the final hole, or even, yeah, even if you forget the final hole, regardless if you're going from nine to ten, if you're making the turn, regardless of where you are, once you're finished with the hole, move on. That's all there is to it. Uh, this guy had no etiquette whatsoever come come the last few holes. It's just like move and get on with your business. And it ha you know, like I said, I didn't catch him until I think like the fifth or sixth hole. And you know, I, I had no problem with that. But it's like the six, seven, eight, and nine. I think I would rather watch grass grow and paint dry in the same session it was it was that bad um, and where the cart was on the last hole you know I'm standing there you know I try, they're in my they're in my direct line I mean I could see them and this guy this guy anyway that's you know with that be mindful of the people behind you and these guys weren't catching anybody but just be my it's again Everybody wants, you know, it's all about fast times, fast food, fast cars. Eh, you know, everybody wants to play this game so quickly. But um, also, another thing, play the correct tees. Jeez almighty. I'm like, they were playing from the whites, which I believe, oh, I don't know. Let's put it this way. Whether it was 6,000 yards in or not, they should not have been playing uh, the white tees. Yes, I'm making a public service announcement. Play the correct tees, damn it. And I'm like, you know, just because you play the red tees, everyone associates the red tees with women. You know, I like that's... You're so wrong for doing that. The red tees are there, you know, for players, male or female. They can't hit the ball as far. They're just starting the game. You know, it, it, it makes the game more enjoyable. The guys playing, it's like, oh, they're going to play that. I'm like, 
you can't if you can't play from the white tees, you know, what makes you think that you can come back here? You know, guys think that they're entitled just because they're a member or even if they're not a member, if they, they pay X amount of top dollar that they feel entitled, oh, I'm going to play back here. You know, no, no, no. You know, a friend of mine that I was golfing with a few weeks ago was telling me that he went to Scotland and he came back and they played and they, he's telling me actually over there, they card you if you decide to go and play the tips. You know, what is your index? So uh, would that ever happen here in the States? Oh, hell no. I, I don't know any course in this country that actually does that. But uh, again, I am all for everyone playing this great game. But if you're going to play this game, you better, you know, you better know your etiquette. And that's all I have to say. Play the correct tees and know your etiquette. So, well, with that said... You know, uh, it's really, really, really hot out there. It's If it's not 100 degrees where you are, it's pretty damn close. I mean, it's it's high 90s here. But, uh, you know, if you just stay cool, be well. And if you decide to go out there and play, uh, may all your putts hit nothing but the bottom of the cup. Yeah.